Hello friends, Jermaine here and welcome to this video. I wanted to give an update on things specifically highlighting some of the exciting developments within the DAO community and also talk about where I see myself going with this channel in the next couple of months at least until um, the next update. Let's start with this one that I came across a couple of months ago. So the AWS team, specifically the team that works on the Lambda tool, have introduced Dart support. So this has been since 25th of February. So that was a couple of months ago. Um, so not really sort of like anything new as in recent weeks, but it's been a couple of months ago and I felt it was important to talk about. Before this Dart runtime was introduced, I think Node.js had pretty much been the, the go-to solution whenever we needed to implement Lambda functionality. So it's quite exciting that they've decided to extend that support to introduce a Dart runtime. It looks like they were able to achieve this by using Dart's uh, Dart to native command line tool. So that allows you to compile your Dart code uh, into native executables essentially so you just run that executable um, in aws lambda environment rather than having to install the dart vm on you know the aws lambda uh, environment and it looks like it's been um, successful so far they've got some performance um, enhancements from that so if you come to their github page they've given like a little bit of numbers so under 10 milliseconds on processing events and under 50 megabytes of memory consumption. And um, some of the other benefits is there's no need to ship Dart runtime. So I just mentioned that we can also type our events and we can have custom events. Currently it's at version one, pretty much ready for um, developing production level applications. They've also got docs for it, which looks to be quite comprehensive. Perhaps I might spend some time going through this and see if I can put an example together. If you guys have any ideas on the sort of um, examples I could build using this runtime, let me know down in the comments below. I'm interested in exploring that. Stack Overflow released a developer survey a couple of weeks ago. I want to go down to the technology section. So in particular, I want to look at the under popular frameworks, libraries and tools, just like Flutter is part of the top 10 at least. So it seems to be rising up bit by bit. Um, I don't know where Flutter was in the previous um, survey. At least I know with GitHub, Flutter was, I think, number three on the list of top open source projects. And if we scroll down to the most loved languages, Dart is increasingly becoming a language that developers love to use. In the top seven of languages developers love working with. And um, interestingly, JavaScript has come down to the 10th position. And to be fair though, TypeScript is on, you know, number two. So it looks like most people are migrating away from JavaScript to either Dart or either TypeScript, I guess mostly uh, with TypeScript. The Dart team announced support for null safety. This is a language feature that has been requested quite a lot. Um, if you go on the GitHub issues page for the Dart SDK, I remember seeing a huge discussion requesting this feature. So um, it's good to see that the Dart team have um, listened to the request for this and they've, and that they've introduced it into the language. From my understanding, what null safety does is, is it allows supports for types that are non-nullable. So that means if you declare a variable and you specify the type, by default, you're not allowed to specify null as a value because when you specify the type, you're telling the compiler that under no circumstances is the value null supposed to be passed in. So in this example, if you pass in null, then um, the comp you get a compiler error. So with this example here, so you need to actually specify a value and then the error disappears. And once I run this, I get the results. However, if you wish to have the value of null, then once you declare the type, you can add a question mark afterwards, which means that this type becomes optional, which now means that if I put null here, then the compiler won't throw an error because I've made it explicitly clear that A can be set to null. And so if you wanna play with this, go to nullsafety.darpad.dev 
they've got several examples of it over here so they walk you through different scenarios where you'll be working with this non-allable type so um, just go to nullsafety.dapart.dev and go through these examples it's good preparation to they release it and the latest is flutter day and flutter day has been a great event we've seen just loads of interesting examples building uis with flutter we got to see various experts from the community um, sharing what's possible with uh, flutter there were also code labs um, on flutter itself but in particular there was a talk specifically on the null safety feature so they go in depth the video is here um, on youtube if you've not seen it go ahead and watch it it's just over an hour like i said earlier it's good preparation prior to when they release this feature officially uh, now this part is worth mentioning my original intention for setting up this channel which was meant to be a go-to resource for everything related to the Dart language and its ecosystem i'll be continuing in that vein specifically covering more tutorials around the backend and also the devops -y or deployment side of things so, so far I've been covering tutorials on the front end, on the back end. Right now, doing the Angular and Aqueduct series. In the next couple of months, I'll be covering more tutorials on the tooling side of things. For example, how you deploy a Dart app with Heroku or AWS. Looking at um, script managers like the Dairy package, which is quite similar to the way NPM scripts work, for instance. So those uh, tools that are not spoken about too much, but I'll be creating more of an awareness on what we currently have and how they work. If you're interested in knowing more, do subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And also hit the bell notification icon so you get updates when new videos are released. I want to issue a shout out to Cesar and Cyril for recently becoming patrons. Really appreciate the support. I'm looking for patrons who are interested in learning more about Dart and are looking for premium tutorials. I do prioritize requests made by patrons. So if you are looking to learn something specific and you need a hand do consider becoming a patron your support means a lot that means that i can put more time into producing this content and covering topics not many people are exploring all right and that ends the channel update if you've got any questions let me know down below i do take a look and i will talk to you in the next video